Talking about your own health issues, they can be a little embarrassing. It can also be tough asking your pediatrician certain questions about your kids. So today we're asking our own mid-morning pediatrician about the questions parents wonder about that they might be a little too embarrassed to ask. Dr. Gigi Chala from Children's Minnesota. Thanks for having me. We're so excited Fun to time. talk about embarrassing <laughs> questions today, but this is important, especially because if we're embarrassed to ask about them, we're probably not asking those questions. Right, mm -hmm. either not asking or trying to skirt around the topic mm -hmm. with your child in the room. Those are, I mean, it's a challenge. All right, let's do some of these. One, right. my child and I showered mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. At what age is this inappropriate? Yeah, I mean, I think, first of all, it's it's very normal and natural. Kids need help. Exactly. They need help they in the, need the shower. Help in the yeah. shower. And probably by about age three or four, it's the time to start figuring out how could do, how could they do some of that activity by themselves with you helping them being from clothed. The outside. <laughs> being outside. Clothed, clothed yep. from the outside. Yes. Yeah. This next one, we've talked a little bit about bedwetting, but mm -hmm. this question, my child is school age, still wets the bed. Yep. They're embarrassed then to go over to sleepovers. It's become an issue, so what yeah, should I do? Yeah, I think, you know, it's not embarrassing to have that conversation mm -hmm. when the child isn't in the exam room. Sure. It's embarrassing for the child to have to talk uh. about it. And so helping normalize it becomes the, the, the first strategy. Mm -hmm. Lots of kids have this issue. Yeah. How could we tackle this together to make your social life acceptable and, mm -hmm. and workable? And there's, you know, lots of different choices. Mm -hmm. There are techniques and uh, alarms that you can use to try to teach kids. There's even medication if we need to. Number three, I think my child is constipated diet is normal but there's a constant tummy ache and issues in the bathroom what can I do that's a, you don't want to ask that with your kids sitting right next exactly. to you exactly I think yeah. if you really do have some of those concerns gathering a little data log ahead of time mm -hmm. can be really helpful so you can say it happened this it, number of exactly. times exactly this is exactly what it's like and then it's not so descriptive in the room it's looking at data together sure. Yep. This one might be one of those that people will skirt around. Number four, my child is starting to show interest in touching themselves. Should I address this or ignore it? Uh, it depends how much of a problem it is. Mm -hmm. So if if you're really noticing that you know your child is masturbating in in public or in sure. unusual spaces, you might want big to problem. really Need to that's talk a big about problem, yeah. right? Or if it's happening at school or, or right. any other mm -hmm. locations, yeah, you probably want to tackle that head on. But otherwise, it's very normal. And so mm -hmm. trying to figure out you know real gentle ways to say, hey, this is okay, but it happens in your bedroom or it happens at um, you know mm -hmm. at, at this location. Right. So that's probably the best strategy. Uh, the next one is that my child is fairly active, eats a fairly healthy diet, but I'm worried he or she is overweight. I don't want to give him a complex, yeah. make him insecure. Yeah. I think parents worry about that one a lot. Absolutely. Yeah, because you don't want to, you feel like you don't want to cause an eating yeah. disorder. Right. And, you know, I think um, your parents are really thinking about that in the right way to try to find a um, the right words to talk about this is critical. I think actually this is the easiest one to talk about because when we talk about weight, we talk about it like every other aspect of their health. Sure. We talk about their eye check Is or their height, ear check. Vision, and, weight. and yes, so really starting to normalize that mm -hmm. discussion and talk about it, how we're looking for the balance that's right for your body to keep your body healthy. And then moving forward, talking about how do you manage that with exercise, with activity, mm -hmm. with the right foods, with that balance. That's the right topic. I like how a couple of the themes were data and that it these are all normal. Exactly. These questions are there. Exactly. Really right. good. Not right. embarrassing at all. Not no. embarrassing. All right, thank Dr. You. Gigi, all right. thank you.